इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अ वेरी शॉर्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर एथिक्स समरी टेरल वार्न बाइन इज प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिलोसॉफी एट साउदर्न कनेक्टिकट स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी ही हैज़ पब्लिश आर्टिकल्स एंड बुक्स ऑर्गेनाइज कॉन्फ्रेंसिस एंड वर्कशॉप्स गिवन स्पीचेज एंड एड्रेसिस एंड ऑल्सो ही डेवलप्ड एंड इंटरनेशनली इन्फ्लुएंशल वेबसाइट दिस आर्टिकल हैज़ बीन एडेप्टेड फ्रॉम From the internet published in the summer 2000 issue of the American Philosophical Association's newsletter on philosophy and computing, Robert Wiener, a professor in the MIT, has founded computer ethics as field of study in the early 1940s. At the same time, he was helping to develop an anti-aircraft cannon capable of shooting down fast warplanes. Wiener created a new branch of science called cybernetics. Cybernetics is the science of information feedback systems. The cannon he was helping to develop has two parts. One part would track the enemy warplane and talk to the other part. This is an engineering challenge. It, at that time, digital computers were being created. Novot Wiener expressed his concern over this combination of moral consequences in his book Cybernetics or Control and Communication in the Animal and Machine, published in 1948. He thought that this combination of cybernetics and digital computer had the potential for good and for evil. Norbert Wiener published his great book, The Human Use of Human Beings, in 1950, in which he laid down a complete computer ethics foundation. This ethics foundation is now a powerful basis for further research and analysis in this field. Wiener made it clear that, in his opinion, the integration of computer technology into society. would constitute its remarking the second industrial revolution destined to affect every major aspect of life the computer revolution would be a multifaceted ongoing process that would take decades of effort and would radically change everything such a vast undertaking would necessarily include a wide variety of tasks and challenges for workers governments professional organizations sociologists psychologists and philosophers to deal with computer ethics is a complex and important new era of applied ethics which winner founded in the 1940s it was remained undeveloped and unexplored until the mid 1960s by then the good and bad consequences of computer technology became manifest everywhere however credit goes to novot winner for conceiving the applied ethics These ethics would soon be taken up by other scientists and turned into a universal code of conduct. Also in the mid 1960s, computer enabled invasions of privacy by big brother government agencies became a public worry and led to books, articles, government studies and proposed privacy leg- legislation. By the mid 1970s, new privacy laws and computer crime laws had been enacted in America and in Europe. Organizations of computer professionals were adopting codes of conduct for their members. At the same time, MIT computer scientist Joseph Wiesenbaum created a computer program called Eliza, intended to crudely stimulate a Rosarian psychotherapist engaged in an initial interview with a patient. Wiesenbaum wrote the classic book Computer Power and Human Reason 1976 in Computer Ethics Concerned by the Ethical impl- Implications Walter Menor had dubbed computer ethics Menor defined computer ethics as the branch of applied ph- ethics which studies ethical problems aggravated transformed or created by computer technology he also offered guidelines for dealing with the subject in the classroom Terrell Ward Bynum developed curriculum materials and a university course in 1979. In the 1980s, he gave speeches and conducted workshops at a variety of conferences across America. In 1983, as editor of the journal Metaphilosophy, he launched an essay competition to generate interest in computer ethics and to create a special issue of the journal. entitled computer and ethics it was published in 1985 and its lead article which won the essay competition was james moore's essay what is computer ethics
द ईयर 1985 वाज अ वाटर सेट ईयर फॉर कंप्यूटर एथिक्स डेबोरा जॉनसन पब्लिश अ टेक्स्ट बुक कंप्यूटर एथिक्स इन व्हिच सी डिफाइंस कंप्यूटर एथिक्स एज अ फील्ड इन व्हिच कंप्यूटर्स डील विद न्यू वर्जंस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड मोरल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड डिलेमास सी थिंक्स दैट कंप्यूटर्स डिड नॉट क्रिएट न्यू एथिकल प्रॉब्लम्स बट ओनली गिव अ न्यू ट्विस्ट टू ऑलरेडी फैमिलियर इश्यूज सच एज ओनरशिप पावर प्रिवेसी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑन द अदर हैंड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव एथिकम पेपर क्रिस्टिना गर्निया प्रेडिक्टेड दैट कंप्यूटर एथिक्स व्हिच विल इवॉल्व इनटू अ सिस्टम ऑफ ग्लोबल एथिक्स एप्लीकेबल इन एवरी कल्चर ऑन अर्थ जस्ट एज द मेजर एथिकल थियोरीज ऑफ बेंथम एंड कांट वर डेवलप्ड इन रिस्पॉन्स टू द प्रिंटिंग प्रेस रिवोल्यूशन सो न्यू एथिकल थियोरी इज लाइकली टू इमर्ज फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर एथिक्स इन रिस्पॉन्स टू द कंप्यूटर रिवोल्यूशन द न्यूली इमर्जिंग फील्ड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एथिक्स देर फॉर इज मच मोर इम्पोर्टेंट देन इवन इज फाउंडर्स एंड एडवोकेट्स बिलीव द वेरी नेचर ऑफ द कंप्यूटर रिवोल्यूशन इंडिकेट्स दैट द एथिक ऑफ द फ्यूचर विल हैव अ ग्लोबल कैरेक्टर इट विल बी ग्लोबल इन अ स्पेशल सेंस सेंस इट विल इनकम्पास द इंटायर It will also be global in the sense that will address the totality of human actions and relations. Computers do not know borders. Computer networks have a truly global. Ca- Hence, when we are talking about computer ethics, we are talking about the emerging global ethic. But Johnson's hypothesis is the opposite of Christina's. The current ethical theories and principles, according to Johnson, will remain the source of ethical thinking and analysis, and as such. the computer revolution will not lead to a revolution is ethics simply the simply christian's point of view is that the ethically revolutionary computer technology will make human beings reexamine the foundations of ethics and the very definition of human life but johnson's stand is that fundamental ethical theories will remain unaffected with no change in the ethical questions this would make applied computer ethics disappear